What's going on guys, Biddy here and today I have another tournament wrap up video. This is of Smashadelphia 2 that happened on uh, sun this past Sunday, the 11th, uh, September 11th. And it happened in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It was hosted by Clash Tournaments, PK Sparks, and Screen Wave Media. And it was, it was a one day event, had 128 entrants in singles and I believe 30 something teams, I'm not 100% sure. I personally didn't enter doubles, all I did was singles because I actually got there like just in time for singles. Um, what the match you're watching on the screen right now is me playing a friend, a local friend of mine, Vivid, who was also at the tournament. This was in top eight and this was a loser gets to, um, I'm sorry, winner gets to winner's quarters and it was a good set between us. But anyways, um, I'm just going to be talking about my time there. Basically, I woke up on Sunday and I had originally plans with family or something, but they like my parents like, oh wait, we're not doing that anymore. So you you could do whatever, and I was like, huh, Smash Adelphia is today. So I messaged Chibo, who is the head guy of a uh, Clash tournament. So I'll have the links to all their Twitters and websites uh, down below. Um. I messaged him, I'm like, hey, do I have enough time to make you? He's like, yeah, if you get here by 1.30, I'll put you in the bracket, you'll be put in the pool, and you'll be good. So I'm like, cool. And that was like just enough time for me to get ready, get in my car, and get there by 1.30. So I did that, and it's a nice. it was a nice venue. It was in District 9, which is like sort of like a like nightclub, like bar slash like nightclub-ish type, type venue, but they did it like really nice and used the space to have all, a bunch of setups for Melee and Smash 4. And it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I only did singles. Uh, so I did, yeah. my There were eight pools, 16 people in each pool, 128 people, makes sense. But um, my pool, I was put in, I was second seed in my pool, and I played against 6WX in winners' finals. Um, before that, I had three matches. One, my first match was against a Cloud, who said he was a melee player, but he entered because his friend played Smash Four, so I double two stocked him. Then it was this um, Diddles, this uh, Diddy Kong player, who um, I met at like a previous Philly local, and like he did get better. But my Diddy experience with Apple has helped me out a lot, and I was able to. 2-0 him, and then I played in winner semis this Marth player who I didn't know, and I uh, double two stocked him. Got to winners finals to play 6WX. Now, last time I played 6WX, it was a game three set. It was pretty close, but well, game three he like two stocked me, but I still took a game, and I kind of liked the Sonic matchup, but like I, I, from then to now, even though I've improved a bit since last time we played, he improved a lot and. I mean, well, I don't want to say a lot, a lot, but like he definitely like got better in the match. I mean, he's beaten Hyuga before, so his experience in the two-lane matchup definitely is there. And he like high percent two stocked me game one because he just wouldn't let me kill him. <laughs> I was not able to get confer bomb confirm or like a grab on him at all. And then game two, it was like sort of closer. I was down by a good amount last stock, and when I, he was at one stock zero percent, and I was at like one forty, and I almost brought it back, but um, he sealed it up. And yeah, he 2 0 me. And then it was top three, get out of the pool, so I didn't have to play my losers' finals match. So I got right into top 24 of final bracket from loser side. So I go to top 24. My first match is against Earthboundy, a uh, Ness player from uh, Jersey. He's a good friend of mine. He's really chill, but I have Ness experience from Great Gonzalez, and him not being as good as Great Gonzalez helped a bit. <laughs> But he's still he's still like a good Ness who's definitely like been putting in the work lately. So shout out to him. But I um we had a he had a pretty close game one, and like I sealed it I think with a F smash possibly like uh, Zaire cross up, Zaire, I swear Zaire cross up on shield to turn around F smash has sealed me a lot of stocks and I love it. But I beat him game one and I believe game two was a high percent two stock and I took that. And then my next set was against Blazing Pasta, who's another Ness player. This one from Philly, and a bit better than Earth Bounty. And we've gone back and forth in sets of times. He's beaten me in the last couple, so I was like, try, I like really wanted to win. So we go, and it's, it's, it was a pretty close set. I mean, he two stocked me game one, and I believe I like almost JV two'd him game two on a, a Duck Hunt uh, Omega. And then we went to Battlefield for game three, and. 
It was like basically even, 70% each last dog. I get him off stage and he double jumps to the ledge and before he snaps, and it looks like he barely went over the ledge, I forward smash him and I kill him and win the set and I was hyped. <laughs> And then, so, it was good games with him. Then I played Vash, a moth player from Jersey, and I 2-0'd him. We, again, like, Earth Bounty had a really close game one, but game two was a lot more in my favor. Beat him, got into top eight, was pretty hyped. They had a little top eight VIP area, it was, pre it was pretty funny, where they just had a couple setups, and the people that were in top eight just chilling. It, it wasn't huge, because I played, like, right as I got in, almost. And then I played Vivid, who you're seeing on screen now. Now, the, Vivid... He was a kid last year who played, who, who made Lucas and stuff, and he was a little kid of the locals. I beat him all the time, blah, blah, blah. But then he, when he picked up Corrin, that is when he put in the work. And he beat me the next three times. And to this, until this tournament, I did not beat his Corrin. And it, like, it was a, definitely a win I really wanted. And uh, you're going to get a little spoiler because you're watching um, the set. I don't, know, I don't know how far into it, but I do beat him in the set. Sorry about that. Um, it was a, it was a good two. To, uh, I wanted two to one. He two stocked me game one, but like I literally told myself like, all right, stop like air dodging very predictably because he was catching me like all on on all on my landings and I was just throwing out stuff. It was bad, but I played much better. Game two was like basically, but the games after were basically almost last hit. Game two, I messed up. I grabbed him in the middle of the stage and like. I threw him backwards when I'm assuming he thought I was going to throw him forwards thinking I wouldn't back throw to stay it and I messed up his DI and it killed him in the process and then game 3 I like read his roll back um, from shield and I up smash him and to and end the set so that was cool and then in losers quarters where I'm guaranteed 5th I played 6WX again basically the same scenario as winners finals in the pool 2 stock game 1 not as, not as much of a 2 stock game 2 but still in his favor and he took it ending me in fifth place out of 128 people that was like a quick wrap up of my tournament experience like the uh, how i played in the tournament the venue itself i'm just gonna give a couple little feedback there was it was really spacious good setups and all that um there was, and there was like separate seating area for people to just chill in like lounge like area the only downsides were it was pretty cold in the venue like it was actually like chilly and stuff and I normally don't get cold at tournaments when people say they do but I was actually cold and it was a little annoying and the bar there charged like three dollars for water bottles and soda cans which was like really eh but it was nonetheless it was still a chill tournament shout outs to Clash Tournaments shout outs to PK Sparks and Screen Wave Media I will be doing my best to make it to future ones, but work is going to make that a little difficult. Um, but yeah, the next one of these uh, tournament wrap-ups you're going to see probably is me going to gl is me at Glitch 2, which I will be at, I believe the, it's the 24th and the 25th. I'm not 100% not sure on the exact dates, but that's where I'm going to be. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to watch more videos, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. I don't know why I said that, but anyways, peace out guys.